Hi all, I am Karthik Sajeev. Welcome all of you to a new session by Kerala State Civil Service Academy. In this session, we will be discussing about some of the questions that may be asked for the upcoming 2023 UPSC Mains Examination General Studies 2 paper. As you all know, in this paper, we have Indian Polity, Governance, Social Justice and International Relations. Okay, now we can start. Indian Polity is the most important subject in General Studies 2 paper from which you can expect 10 to 11 questions. In this subject, you need to focus on the constitution, its different parts, fundamental rights, DPSP, fundamental duty, different constitutional bodies, legislature, executive and judiciary with respect to the separation of powers. Now let us discuss some of the probable questions that you can expect from this subject. To start with, the future of Indian democracy hangs on a prudent and pragmatic approach to delimitation. In the wake of this statement, explain the powers conferred upon the Delimitation Commission of India by the Constitution and Representation of the People Act 1950. Also mention the challenges faced by the Commission in this regard. The next question is, Despite the relief of knowing that personal data must be collected and processed in compliance with the law, there are several gaps that the India's Digital Personal Data Protection Act 2023 raises and leaves unanswered. Critically analyze this statement. Another question is, discuss the powers of Chief Justice of India as master of the roster. The next question is, Parliamentary sovereignty cannot be diluted by the executive or the judiciary in a democratic society. What do you think? Justify your answer with adequate examples. Another question is, the practice of empowering the executive to make subordinate legislation within a prescribed sphere has evolved out of practical necessity. At the same time, it has to be borne by the people through their representatives. With regard to Supreme Court's recent verdict on demonetization, what does delegated legislation entail? Another question is, what do you mean by a social media intermediary? Explain the features of IT, Intermediary Guidelines and Digital Media Ethics Code Amendment Rules 2023. Moving ahead, with the Election Commission and the Reserve Bank of India expressing concern over electoral bond scheme, do you think it favours only the ruling party? Also suggest measures for promoting a transparent electoral process. The next question is, compare and contrast the federal features of India and Canada. Another important question is, the Indian brand of socialism is a democratic socialism. Comment. The next question. With the introduction of recent bills which seek to replace the Indian Penal Code, Criminal Procedure Code and the Indian Evidence Act, do you think India's criminal justice system needs an urgent reform? Moving on to another question. Critically examine the challenges for holding one nation, one election reforms, keeping in view the existing framework under the Constitution of India and other statutory provisions. The next question is, India's legal system has grappled with striking a balance between free speech and hate speech. Explain. Coming to next question. Though Panjaiti Raj system has been instrumental in bringing significant changes in the rural landscape of India, urban local bodies were not able to perform effectively as expected. Do you agree? The last question is, what do you mean by a privilege motion? Explain the different privileges enjoyed by the members of parliament. Coming to social justice, you may expect 3 to 5 questions from this part. The important focus areas are issues faced by vulnerable sections, how self-help groups and NGOs can improve their condition, concerns regarding poverty, health, education and hunger in India, 
how the human capital can be utilized for reaping these in the best way possible based on this let us analyze some of the probable questions starting with what are the salient features of aishman bharat pradhanamantri jan aarogya yojana the next question is the indian educational landscape has witnessed a remarkable transformation with the rise of many edtech startups critically analyze moving to the next question the vicious cycle of poverty and hunger leads to homelessness and child labor in india discuss another question is explain the role of self help groups in widening women's labor force participation rate in india next question is strategic management of human capital is essential for sustainable development in a globalized world comment another question is how multi state cooperative societies are governed in india besides providing support to the weak and marginalized they drive national economic development analyze moving ahead in india not only has the bulk of wealth is concentrated in the net worth of a small chunk of the population but also this has increased largely over the recent time elucidate the last question from this part is explain the role of non governmental organizations in the socio economic development of our country with examples another important subject in general studies two paper is governance you can expect two to three questions from this part the focus areas include how to bring about transparency and accountability in government important e governance initiatives and reforms in civil services let us discuss some of the questions based on these topics inefficiency and corruption have eroded india's bureaucracy which needs to be made more efficient and accountable in this perspective lateral entry to civil services is a progressive step do you agree another question is financial inclusion and e governance brought in by the indian fintech will be a game changer in transforming the socio economic growth trajectory of the country explain the third question is creation of an all india judicial service will give an opportunity for intention of suitably qualified fresh legal talent selected through a merit system as well as address the issue of social inclusion by enabling suitable representation to marginalized and deprived sections of society critically examine the next question is fifth and sixth schedules of constitution of india which provide for alternate governance mechanisms for certain scheduled and tribal areas face numerous challenges comment another question is what are the features of samitva scheme the last question from this part is the anti corruption ombudsman lokpal's performance seems to be far from satisfactory it has to act as an enabler rather than an inhibitor describe coming to international relations which is the last subject in gs2 we can expect up to four questions from this part the important focus areas include important india's foreign policy relationship with neighbors and important powers of the world important international organizations and their mandate now let us discuss some of the questions based on these topics to start with inclusion in the mineral security partnership is vital for india to fulfill its ambition of shifting towards sustainable mobility and securing the supply chain of critical minerals that will provide the necessary push towards indigenous electronics and semiconductor manufacturing discuss the second question is 
BRICS is carving out a unique path in global politics. Briefly explain the relevance of BRICS for India in meeting its geopolitical objectives. The third question is, with UK government exiting from the European Union, how it will impact India's relations with both of them? Another question is, UN in itself is a failed institution. Critically analyze. The next question is, the US exit from Afghanistan has left a military vacuum which is hard to fill. Analyze the options available for India to maintain the regional stability. Moving ahead, elaborate the significance of Group of 20, that is G20 grouping in transforming India's position as an emerging global power. Another important question is, what is Vasenar arrangement? Explain the major multilateral export control regimes in which India has been a part of. Another question is, Indian diaspora has played a pioneering role in boosting India's soft power diplomacy. Comment. Going further, India has refused to condemn Russia for its aggression against Ukraine but called for respecting the territorial integrity of all nations. Could its balancing act be not interpreted as inactiveness at a time when India is chairing many multilateral platforms? And the question is, India and France reiterated their unwavering commitment to address regional and global challenges together. Describe briefly India's relations with France in the context of volatile geopolitics. The last question is, Indo-Pacific Ocean Initiative holds immense potential for synchronizing and synergizing the collective efforts towards a prosperous and peaceful Indo-Pacific. Elucidate. So friends, I hope it was a very useful video. If you like, please do share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. Happy learning. We will meet again. Thank you for watching.